a bit of a question mark as to which version of the haka would be used. Kapo Apanga or Kamate. stuff the kapo or panga a different hacker to the one used in Bloemfontein last week will it have a different result for the All Blacks this time the All Blacks will certainly be hoping for well they'll be playing into the breeze this afternoon the breeze coming out of the southwest as we see Perry Wepu leading it passionately and very animatedly to wonderful scenes the All Blacks as I started to say will be playing into this southwester the wind does tend to swirl a little bit off the stand, so the conditions will be a little bit tricky for the kickers. A little tough on the handling. One lone all black supporter amongst his mates. Conrad Smith, try scorer last week in Bloemfontein, right. was his 11th okay. test try. Sure Starts okay test behind number 28 this okay, afternoon. Okay. Nigel Owens, assisted on the sidelines by Alan Rolland and Tim Hayes, the, a fellow Welshman of Nigel Owens. And Mornay Stain has ball in hand, the only change to the Springbok okay. lineup for this second. Tri Nations test match against New Zealand. <laughs> Playing with the wind at their backs, the Springboks get this test match underway to a huge roar of appreciation from the Durban faithful. Richie McCaw secures early ball for New Zealand. Jimmy Cowan back in the starting lineup at the expense of Brendan Leonard after last week's loss and an early touch for Pierre Spies. Francois Stein will launch the bomb for Jacques Ferry and Mornay Stein to chase. Donald under pressure, and Brissot quick to pass. Dupria with the cross kick for JP Peterson to chase. They've turned Sibibatu, and Peterson almost managing to juggle the ball in field. Sibibatu, very casual. Well, the ball hopping around very awkwardly for Sibibatu, but it did seem to meander back somewhat. Good pressure from the, from the kick, the chase good, the tackle good. Donald couldn't control it. Super tackle from Jacques Ferry, and from there, the Eagle Free had the vision to look at, nothing else was on, and found a bit of space. The New Zealand lineup was under pressure all Saturday afternoon last week, and Macfield was again up to contest. It was well tidied up though by Brad Thorne. Cowan's kick is charged down! And dotted down by Stephen Donald. Pressure on the All Blacks. And Donald did very well, he's playing for it back. He's taking the middle of the bag. Okay, we'll keep an eye, it's fine. Very suspect line out again well done to brad thorne on the recovery and the little charge down donald very lucky oh and buck is worth first dived in and welcomed him to apsa stadium durban well it was asked a little while ago when bucky spent a week out of the box side having been suspended would it change the way he plays absolutely not certainly evidence of it they're hard and compromising and nothing wrong with it Restart from Nonu. Fielded by Matt Field. We do prayer through a half gap. Springboks. Angelina! Quickly in over the ball. Matt Field with the pick and drive. Beautifully presented for Faridu Prayer. This mark to proceed. Showing the strength that he showed in Bloemfontein last week on the drive. Good surge from the beast. The switch to Jacques Ferry in midfield. Evades a couple of tackles, then finds Bismarck Duplessis as well, who stands up strongly in the tackle, but has got turned and lost it forward. Sibibatu, the kick charge down by Bucky Sporta, but there was a knock on there in the contact. It's a very good positive start from South Africa, moving the ball around well. The bench looking a little bit nervous, they'll be happy with the start though. Bismarck's had a couple of handles already ripped out of his hands this time though. Altogether a really positive start for South Africa, moved the ball quickly, ran into a bit of space. Shockery realised there was nowhere to go and 
Headed infield back to the forwards. It's no good you calling me when things ready to go, okay? It's just, it's Little niggle for Andrew Hall. The uh, all black hooker, Stephen Donald, back on his feet after that little knock from Bucky Stewart early on. Okay. Just come out on the five, lads, please. Let's get in, let's get in on the five, let's get in. Let's have you two guys on the five, yeah? Let's remember what, let's remember what we agreed on the changing rooms, please. First scrum of the game. Crouch, touch. Ever so slight oh, weight advantage for Middle. New Zealand. Good. Big first run from South Africa, and Brousseau quick to pounce off the side of it as well. Hands away, Green! Just outside the 22, so no clearance for touch on offer here. Cowan with the pop, beautifully read by Farid Dupriya. De Villiers for Francois Stein. Sidney Vatu very quickly up to apply the pressure. But as they did last week, the Springboks protecting the ball well early on in the contact. The chase is on from JP Peterson, and Mulia in that crunched just outside the 22, a question mark around whether he was in the air. No, says Nigel Owens. Muliaina held on, and South Africa have an early penalty. Great start, Bob Skinstad, from the Springboks. It certainly is, Matt. It's been uh, helter skelter a little bit there, but wow, what accurate kicks there. One from Stein and earlier on from uh, Farida Pierre, and the, the Springboks have capitalised immediately there from very, very good chases, and they look like they're a cohesive, focused unit here today. Very focused, they do look. Oh, marginal. Was he in the air? Muliaina fancied himself to be in the air. No way, Joel. He had his big toe on the ground. He was down. So what should be a relative formality for Mornay Stain. 26 points in his four test match appearances to date. He turned from the kicking tee, that's always a good sign, and he's got 29 points in Test Rugby. And a vital first blow for the Springboks in Durban. The All Blacks have not yet been in South Africa's half. Well, that's a perfect start, and thoroughly deserved the three points. The pressure has been one way. South Africa on New Zealand. Jimmy Cowan had the chance to clear. Kicked a very dainty little dinky kick over the top. Just not got out of their half. Donald holds the restart up into the breeze. Beautifully taken by Jacques Ferry. Contest starts, if you're going to seal on it, stay on your feet, please. Well, we were a little concerned before about the technical penalties. Stay up, you're sealing off. Nigel Owen, sometimes are known contest. for being very technical indeed. And a penalty for sealing off at the ball. I'll have a look here. Okay. What a feeling it was Jean de Villiers who sealed it down. The ideal response for New Zealand. Might be a bit of justice, actually. I can't help feeling Muliahine was a little unlucky earlier. New Zealand have got a simple chance back. Oh, it's a tough penalty. Do you want to take back what you said about the justice? <laughs> well, it's a tough penalty. It just, it just didn't look like there was anything wrong there. You know, players who've, who've rucked onto the ball and not blasted over. There's, there's no player for them to lean against. There's nowhere to go, but quite possibly, you know, hand on the ground. It didn't look like any South African players had really blocked the ball off. And it just, uh, they were just looking for a, a cue to ruck against. Very good ball preservation, that looked like. Stephen Donald to tie the scores at three apiece. He's got it and gets his 17th point against South Africa. His 83rd no, 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 in no, Test no. Rugby for New Zealand. Mona Stein was uh, wanting to take a quick kickoff and very quickly called to book by Nigel Owens. You can see the light-hearted side of it because he has to use the same ball that went over the post. There was no chance of that. It was in the crowd in the south stand. Brian Havana chasing the kickoff hard, but it's way too strong for Mornay State. Just pulled it ever so slightly. The height was good, the distance good, just a little left of where it needed to be. It's a good attacking position for New Zealand now. First chance that they've really had to get hands Last on ball, good, carry it up once or twice yes. and go through the phases. Big open side, Muliaina is off to the right with Joe Rokotoko, and big numbers on the left. Owen Franks up against Tendayam Tawarira here on the near side of the scrum. Crouch. Franks just 21 years of age, Touch. starting his first test match today in place of the injured Nimia Tialata. And interestingly enough, he, both these ankles are bound from the start. You can see the strapping on both these ankles and they're strapped over the boot, which you don't see too often. Crouch! Nice Touch! Here as well. engage! Went down on Franks and, and Tawarira's side. Referee allows it to go on. Soyalo's pass was poor. 
And you can't blame Stephen Donald for that. And, uh, and a little shake of the eyes there from Steve Hansen really tells the story. Not the best scrum we've ever seen. It was a good scrum from South Africa. Good pressure coming from the beast down to the ground it went. Soyolo, a man of his experience, really should have made more of that. In the same breath. You, know, you see the modern players, if they get a bad pass like that, they just take their hands out the way and let it go. Good scrum from New Zealand applying the pressure on South Africa. But the bind was dropped. It's against Jerome Kano. Three to prayer with the quick take. Bounced off John de Villiers. Well, did that go forwards? John Smith doesn't think so. Lost into black. Okay, so that's forward. Well, the call is out of John de Villiers' hands, hands into black, back into the captain's hands. Okay. This is the scrum. Jerome Kano penalised for not being bound and uh, way off the back it's of the scrum. That to be a free kick. I have asked him. I think he may have that right now, Jerome. Stand in the middle as well. The question well, is, the All Blacks crunch. have gone back 20 metres now, 15 metres. Do they still Balls run it now, or do they kick the position? That's better, that's good. Again, it goes Ball down in the front rows. Donald gets a flat ball. And a switch kick for uh, Muliaina to chase. It was well read by JP Keep Peterson. Away. And he's given good chase to this kick as well. Putting the pressure on Jimmy Cowan. Early call from Farid Prayer. Spice inside, as is Johan Smith. Supporter plenty from the spring box. Heinrich Brousseau sets it beautifully. Stayed with the cross kick for Jacques Ferry to chase. That's just inside the field of play. I think South Africa have looked at this All Black side and said two great wingers playing for the All Blacks. Joe Rakathoko, Sitabeni Subivatu, but not great on the turnaround. And that's why we see a couple of kicks in behind them here. And in fact,